Hello fellow space engineers, GopeScope here from the GopeScope Gaming Channel, and I'd like to update you on what the Arclight Drive Yards engineers have been up to uh, recently. They've been busy uh, overhauling the entire module system, as well as the existing medium and large frames, um, and the, the various example vessels uh, that have been put out, the Roanoke, Hatteras, Ajakan, that kind of thing. Um, now all of those uh, frames and modules um, are airtight. Uh, when they connect, they're also airtight, uh, with the exception of some of the modules um, that have no reason for you to actually go into them. Uh, so like, for example, the collector uh, solar collection modules or uh, the large container module, for example, um, they'll, they will dock still. Uh, you can still extend the airtight doors to sort of help protect things. Uh, but what I would recommend you do is you just turn off the, the hatches to those um, so that you don't uh, have an issue where you accidentally open a door and depressurize your ship. So... Um, I wanted to have it so that every single module um, would allow you to open the door, but in order to do that, they'd be unnecessarily bulky, and uh, it'd add extra triangles and weight that was unnecessary. So for those modules that don't actually have interiors, uh, and you're attaching them, so say you're attaching panels to the sides, just turn those hatches off and you won't run into any problems. But otherwise, all of them connect, they lock up, and uh, when I've tested attaching and detaching them, neither the uh, the large frame or the small frame take damage in terms of blocks destroyed. Uh, I have noticed, and I'm uh, kind of working on something, I'm hoping that we can get it uh, so that this there's absolutely no warping at all, but the, uh, the armor blocks immediately behind the merge blocks on the modules do warp somewhat when you disconnect them. I've never actually had them be destroyed or cause damage to the frame, um, so all it would take is just a, a very brief... Um, go at it with a with a welder, and they'll be back to their regular shape. Um, so that's less than ideal, admittedly. Like I said, I'm hoping to find a solution for that. Uh, but as it is now, it kind of seems like this is as good as it uh, it can be. Oh, and when I'm saying I'm, of course, mean the ArcLight driver, it's engineers, <clears throat> not me. Anyway, moving on. So uh, the things that we've changed in addition to making things airtight in the large frame and the medium frame are that we've added uh, some of the latest. Uh, functional blocks that didn't exist when, I, when we first released the large and medium frames, so like the jump drives, uh, both of those have those now, uh, cryopods, um, we've reduced triangles uh, wherever possible with the new ramp armor blocks replacing, or, or the new sloped armor blocks replacing the old ramp blocks. So when we actually use the ramp blocks to achieve the, the shape we were going for, those uh, are much more, more intensive in terms of triangle count than the actual armor blocks. So those have been replaced to reduce triangles. We have also added uh, timers to facilitate automatic detaching. We've added uh, oxygen and tanks to the large frame, which didn't have those initially. We've also done away with all of the uh, small reactors in the large frame. Um, there will still be some small reactors, obviously, when you attach modules, but uh, dispensed with having a great deal of small reactors and went with a large reactor for the large frame, which reduces triangles. Um, and then, uh, as I said, added in a jump drive. So that has dramatically changed the appearance of the rear section of that large frame, um, as you can see here. Now, all of the modules have been updated as well. Uh, you can see ahead of you here, there are a few uh, that may look familiar and some not so much. Uh, we have the offensive weapons modules. We actually have a vertical and horizontal variant now. That's because some of the docking ports will actually be vertically oriented on newer frames. Directly ahead, there is the refinery module, which has been updated with some of the new attachments you can use to boost power efficiency and effectiveness, as well as the new processing module, which has a little bit of everything. Processing in terms of uh, refining, uh, you get an arc furnace in there, some assembly. Uh, there ahead, you've got the assembly uh, module, which is dedicated to just assemblers. Um, there's a propulsion module, as well as a uh, kind of additional jump drives module. Um, we also have the uh, tactical uh, defense modules that no longer have the spherical gravity generator. I just found that it was having, at least just having one of them, was totally ineffective in terms of uh, deflecting uh, gravity-based uh, weapons. So I dispensed with those, reduced triangles where I could, and, uh, and kind of uh, buttoned things up a bit. And of course, all of these uh, now attach to the airtight module uh, system, uh, collar system, on the frames themselves. Um, you can see below the updated solar panel arrays that can connect now, as well as uh, what I'm calling collector modules, which combine the oxygen and solar panel uh, collection, and a dedicated oxygen collection module. Uh, directly ahead above is a cryogenic uh, module that adds uh, some additional cryopods, as well as some battery support. 
Below that, you have uh, something similar to that, except it's more flight seats uh, for jumping and kind of RP, some beds and stuff. Uh, we've also got our uh, cargo bays. they got the large cargo bay still and small. And now in addition, um, the small cargo bays also have two variants, which feature some uh, salvage and uh, repair or construction functionality too. And then uh, lastly, we've dispensed with the large and small hangars set up, and now we have a large hangar still, which has been modified, and a landing platform uh, instead of the small hangar. So this landing platform has a fully automated airlock, as does the large frame. One thing I've noticed is that the, the vents are an important part of how these, uh, the new airlock setup works. And when you attach a module, for some reason, even if you paste these in, it seems that the game doesn't remember the commands that you've given to the vents. Uh, so I'm going to provide instructions as how to reset that. Hopefully that's just a bug that they're going to fix because um, it's nice to be able to just pop them in and uh, get them working. There's no reason that shouldn't happen. Uh, shouldn't work that way. Sensors remember what you tell them to do. The events should as well. Uh, but when you put them in, they're sort of acting like the block you said should be activated. So in this case, a timer doesn't exist anymore, which it does. And that happens, it seems like, without regard to the ownership. I hope you enjoy these updates and please stay tuned for future frames. I have uh, two finished, three total planned at this point, in addition to the large and medium frame that exists now. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.